I remember there was a time at Walt Disney World when you had the Veggie Veggie Fruit Show. I don't know if that was actually what it was called, but it was the Veggie Veggie Fruit Show. That's what people know it as. You went into that area kind of like, I think it was like where Soren is or one of those places in that pavilion and you learned about healthy diet. And they Disney realized that telling people to go out and play and uh, ride a bike and you know, eat, you know, you could have a sugary treat here or there, but eat balanced. Make sure you're eating a healthy balanced diet apparently that was too controversial so they had to get rid of the veggie veggie fruit show because we say no to the veggie veggie fruit show veggie veggie fruit show is very controversial and if you think back to around that time frame that's when you had movies like wally and although i don't think i've ever actually seen the movie wally i know there's a scene in wally where there are people that are unfortunately morbidly obese and they're kind of like on these motorized floating um scooter things that are going by and wally is kind of like looking at them and i could only imagine a movie movie like that being made in today's time frame. I could never imagine a movie like that with a scene like that being produced in this time and in this generation. I mean, if Veggie Veggie Fruit was too controversial, I mean, Wally is like, I mean, I don't understand how Wally is even like allowed to be out there. But um, yeah, Disney and the dynamics of Disney has changed over the years. A lot of the food offerings have become much worse at Disney. Disney never had healthy food, but they've actually, I feel like, gone in the opposite direction of offering any healthy offerings. For example, I did a video on this when I used to stay at Quarterly Riverside all the time. And at Port Orleans Riverside, they had the ability to make your own salad. It was like its own salad station. They did away with that because um, it probably wasn't making them enough money. And they brought in instead like a heavy like meat area where you get like like roasted chicken and stuff like that. And they used to have both offerings, but they did away with the salad. Now you get a little ready made little ready made salad in the in the refrigerator. But they did away with that. They had an area at Port Orleans where you could make your own healthy pasta and added ingredients. They did away with that too. It's kind of like just this standard thing get what you get they did away with they had flatbread pizza options which were a healthier option they did away with that now it's just get your standard heavy pizza so the food at disney has consistently become worse and worse and i think worse and worse quality much more fattening and um yeah getting healthy food at disney has always been a problem um that's no secret same issue at universal studios okay let's be honest about the current state of the world the economy sucks the economy sucks we have hyper inflation grocery store it's like you go to the grocery store and everything is like three to four times the amount you go in there and you're looking at the price of a potato and it's like how is a potato cost this much okay so our hyperinflation is absolutely ridiculous right now I think most Americans right now are dreading trips to the grocery stores and I am kind of tired of seeing vloggers make the primary thing of their video about what they're eating You'll notice, especially with Disney vloggers is the case, I think even more so than Universal vloggers, there are specific Disney vloggers that the title of their video is essentially them eating, where the title of the video is eating and eating and eating. They're not even doing anything anymore. They're not even like going on rides or showing you merchandise anymore. The 80, 90% of their video is them eating. And not only are they eating, and I get that, you know, that may be the primary content that they do, but they are excessively eating and they are excessively indulging. And I don't know if the word is gorging, gorging on food. And um, they are not only not promoting healthy standards for eating and consumption and having a balanced diet, but they're also promoting this um, indulgence and in a time period where people are kind of budgeting. People are budgeting, people are trying to figure out how to cut down, how to make meals last longer, how to eat healthier at the grocery store, how to spend less at the grocery store. And to be quite honest, it's a little annoying watching a, specifically Disney vloggers go to the theme park and show you their 70 $85 meals that they're having because they'll go to the buffet but the buffet isn't enough they need to add in like five different extras and this is for one meal so you could only imagine what they're spending in a day they're spending $150 $200 a day in food who, who could afford that and they are spending an excessive amount of money on food a day in Disney and the issue with that is they're showing you as the viewer that that is normal that's how you have a good day at Disney. If you wanna have a good day at Disney, you gotta eat like me. That's what they're telling you as the viewer. They're telling you, go to Disney, but you gotta be able to afford that buffet and you gotta have that add-in and you gotta have that other add-in and then I have to drink five drinks and everything else that they're doing, which is a whole video in itself about, you know, how a lot of them do not have like the best habits when it comes to driving. And they 
I really feel like you're, you have a lot of vloggers out there that primarily do theme park content that are not promoting a healthy way of eating. They're not showing you anything about eating balance. It's just like indulging and, and it's getting kind of gross. And they are just excessively eating where you're seeing their appearance, unfortunately, take a toll for the worse. And there are signs that, that their health is just not doing well. And um, so it's kind of like this between the changes that Disney has made, the fact that there really is no healthy food at Disney or Universal, now you have vloggers on top of it promoting that, promoting this obesity. And it's not just obesity, it's morbid obesity. And it's not like, oh, people in all shapes and sizes. It's the controversial reality of all, if you wanna call it all shapes and sizes, that comes with heart attack risk, stroke, type two diabetes, insulin, all of these things, these medical consequences that cost a lot of money and have a lot of health consequences. So that shape of all sizes is going to have problems down the line. And your loved ones are gonna have to take part in that and watch you go through that, unless they are also one of the people going through it. And it's just bewildering that these Disney vloggers are promoting this so excessively. It's one thing to be like, I want to show you this new treat that came out at Disney. Look at the cute cupcake for the holidays. But we don't need to see buffets every single day, buffet upon buffet upon buffet, and, and see you essentially eat the entire cow. Okay. Um, and so you have that part of it. So you have that part of it, which is the health component. And then you have the other element, which is this reality that the economy is not good right now. People are trying to figure out how to budget at the grocery store and spending $150 a day on food is not budgeting and that's not showing people how to have a good time at Disney. The average Disney vloggers or theme park vloggers should be showing people how to budget, how to get that room cheap, um, how to have a economical experience at Disney, how to save money, how to cut down on your expenses at Disney or Universal. That's what I want to see. You shouldn't be showing the viewer that in order to have a good time at Disney, you got to spend $150 a day on food to eat that buffet. Okay, you're not showing your viewers good healthy practices when it comes to how to take care of their body or on how to take care of their wallet. Okay, and um, again, sorry if it's controversial. And then a lot of these vloggers will go to the extent of telling you that they went on the Velocicoaster or they went on a certain ride when no, I don't see how that's possible. Um, again, there are consequences that comes to not taking care of yourself, unfortunately. And, you know, Disney's giving you that experience to, unfortunately, through the types of food. I mean, it's your responsibility as the consumer to watch what you're eating and what you're spending. It's not, you know, they can present an, uh, an item, but you don't have to eat it. But I'm sure they won't be there to um, pay for your medical costs when something goes south due to a habit that has increased over the years. So um, I'm not going to be like that when I go to Disney or Universal I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be like I brought my bagels with me I'm cutting down on money here on this trip I brought my own bagels from home I'm not ashamed to show you that I'm not ashamed to show you that I'm splitting a meal with someone to count down on cost or calories I'm not ashamed to show you how I'm budgeting on a trip because the truth is Disney and Universal it's not cheap and it's certainly not at a price range for the average working person or blue collar person to go there and spend $150 a day on, on food for one person okay so uh, I'm gonna always Please be honest with you. I'm sorry if it's controversial. Probably know it's true. But uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in my next video. And bye. And also, I'm gonna I'm not going to name names, but you have a Disney executives that when they're walking through the park or they're there visiting, they're not wearing the spirit jersey. I don't want to tell you how much I think their outfits cost because I'm pr familiar with fashion and branding, but they're not wearing spirit jerseys. And they're walking down Main Street with their little cup of coffee and they're not holding the turkey stick. Instead, they're laughing a little bit at the money that's coming in. And um, they're taking care of themselves at a different level than the guest is. You should keep that in mind. So.